friends. Happy Sunday. I'm not going to talk about the Buffalo Bills game today because uh, <laughs> we're just not going to. You guys, I am going to bring you a story tonight that is one um, that I really thought long and hard about. Should I bring it to you guys? And then I thought, yes, I need to. And then I thought, because these stories need to be told. Okay. These stories need of these innocent victims need to get out. Okay. And I've used my platform for these stories before. And so many of you guys have thanked me and said, you agree with me. These stories of these innocent victims need to get out. The faces of these horrible people who do these terrible things to these babies need to get out. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to tell the story, but should I show the photos that go correspond with this really awful story. And then I had to think about that as well because the photos are even worse than the story. And I thought about it for a while and I said, you know what? I'm not going to show the worst photos because they're really bad. But I do think you guys need to really understand, to really understand the magnitude of the story and to really understand just what this little baby has gone through. I do think that showing the photos, um, you know, they say a picture speaks a thousand words. So I've chosen to show some of the photos, not all of the photos. Obviously there's many more photos out online if you so, so want to go look for them. So let me say this, this is a really sad story. This is a story that involves CA, brutal CA. And I am going, there is a huge trigger warning. We're gonna be showing graphic images and it is a graphic story. If this story does not appeal to you, please stop right now and go watch another creator's video. So this is your warning, trigger warning, all the Y'all, I can't even take the sweetness with this little baby. This is two-year-old Giovanni Reichart. Giovanni is from Colorado. Sweetest little thing you've ever seen with those little red cheeks. Giovanni is in a hospital tonight fighting for his life after his mother entrusted him with a friend to watch him literally for one night. Oh, this is his mom, Stephanie Reichardt. And to this day, she still does not know what happened to her son. Let me put this out here. But uh, Stephanie is from Lakewood, Colorado. And I, I don't see anything about a dad or a father. So I'm assuming she's a single mom because if she wasn't, maybe, you know, why would she... um let her, you know, have her son stay overnight with a friend. No, that's exactly what she did. She gave her son to a trusted person, a friend, overnight so she could, she was away for the night. Doesn't say if she was going out, doesn't say if she was at work, whatever, who cares? She entrusted this person to take care of her super adorable little two-year-old son who we just saw. She entrusted her son with this person, 25-year-old McKinley, Stone Hernandez. Okay. Now, why is this a new story? Yes, this did happen back in September. Why is this a story right now? Well, let's just say that the little Giovanni two-year-old is still, like I said, in the hospital fighting for his life. And just this past Thursday, just on Thanksgiving, this abuser, this monster actually turned herself in and is now arrested for felony abuse. So she just this past Thanksgiving turned herself in on a warrant for felony abuse for that awful, what well, we're going to get into what she did to baby Giovanni. Now, again, her mom says that she entrusted um, McKinley to watch her two-year-old overnight. And she got a phone call from uh, McKinley after Giovanni was in the bath saying she gave him a bath and when she got him out of the bath he was non-responsive and she said go meet me at the hospital I'm taking the baby to the hospital well when she got to the hospital Stephanie says oh my god I cannot believe what in the hell I saw my two-year-old baby was fully intubated like he was clinging for his life she's like there were so many doctors and nurses around him she said like 50 doctors and nurses around him with every machine beeping intubated like i said before literally this two-year-old baby clinging for his life and she said he was immediately rushed in to have brain surgery because he had a brain bleed that was so bad he had to have part of his skull removed and again this witch, this crazy woman, McKinley, 
has not even told Stephanie, her friend, Giovanni's mom, what she did to cause or what happened to baby Giovanni. What what caused him to have this horrible brain injury that he's had now? That, and mind you, he's had several surgeries since that very first initial surgery back in September. So let me give you a trigger warning again. These photos that I'm about to show you are graphic, so huge trigger warning. So when her mom showed up at the, when his mom showed up at the hospital, she saw something like this, like what Giovanni looks like right now. Can you even imagine? Look at that little tiny baby. Bruised, swollen, intubated, all the things, y'all. He was placed in an induced coma and like I said, needed several um, surgeries because he was so swollen and he had so much going on. Look at this baby, y'all. This is what his mom saw. Again, he needed emergency operation for this bleed on the brain, uh, brain bleed. Just a little bit of a close-up. Look at his eye, you guys. Like, so you know, you know, just looking at his face that something traumatic, very traumatic, happened to this beautiful baby boy. What? We don't know because, again, McKinley will not tell us. Or I should say, will not tell you know, Giovanni's mom, Stephanie. Now, Giovanni goes on to say that, or I'm sorry, um, Stephanie goes on to say that Giovanni has been, he's out of the coma now and he is doing a bit better, but he is so afraid right now, like of everyone that comes in the room besides his mom. So like doctors, nurses, he like flinches. He's so scared. You guys, this poor baby, he is like scared of everyone who comes in the room who he doesn't know. Heartbreaking. In addition, she went on to say that she does not feel that Felony abuse is a strong enough punishment for this monster. She instead thinks that it should be uh, attempted murder. Hmm. I agree, if not worse. Now, there is a GoFundMe account linked for this baby, for baby Giovanni, to help with the piling up medical bills. And also, nobody knows what type of long-term brain injury or impact this is going to have on baby Giovanni's life. So the family is trying to raise money so he can have, you know, the most amount of help possible for him once he is released from the hospital. And again, some might find these upcoming photos a little bit disturbing as well, but I'm going to show you a couple photos of um, baby Giovanni just this past Thanksgiving. Poor little baby. You can see right there the huge scar that's on his head from his one of the surgeries that he had. Like I said, his mom posted on their GoFundMe account that this past Thanksgiving, you know, they're not out of the woods that, yet. This past Thanksgiving, he was in a lot of pain, had a fever. Um, and again, they're trying to figure out exactly what's going on with him. And this, this photo, you guys, made me so sad because you can clearly see, like, what this baby is going through. Y'all, heartbreaking. So again, this monster is in jail tonight facing felony abuse charges. And there is, like I said, this GoFundMe account. If anybody can donate, you know, a dollar, two dollars, whatever, to help baby Giovanni and his mom get through whatever they may, may need to get through, you know, not just with hospital bills, but moving forward. Um, as always, I want to know what you guys think of this really super sad, horrible story of little baby Giovanni. Let's discuss in the comments below.